GMAT Test Day, Mastering the Test Center Procedures. Hello, dear learners. Today, we are going to dive deep into the GMAT Test Day and focus on the Test Center Procedures. Understanding these procedures will ensure a smooth test-taking experience, allowing you to focus solely on performing your best on the GMAT. Arrival time. Always aim to arrive at least 30 minutes before your scheduled test time. This gives you ample time to adjust and be prepared for any unforeseen delays. Required identification. Bring an acceptable, government-issued ID with a photo and signature. Ensure your name on the ID matches the name you used during registration. If there's a mismatch, you might be denied entry. Personal items. Most test centers have lockers where you can store personal items. However, access during the test is restricted. It's best to bring only essential items. Test Room. After your ID check, you'll be directed to the test room. This room will be monitored through video and audio means for security purposes. Test Materials. You will be provided with a noteboard and marker for scratch work. If you run out of space, raise your hand to get a replacement. Electronic devices, papers, or any other materials are not allowed. Breaks. The GMAT has optional breaks. Should you decide to take a break, remember, the clock doesn't stop for unscheduled breaks. Use your time wisely. End of test procedures. Once you complete the test, ensure you follow the proctor's instructions. Return all materials provided, including the noteboard. Preliminary scores. At the end of your test, you will receive preliminary scores for all sections except the analytical writing assessment. You have the choice to accept or cancel these scores. If you accept, the scores will be sent to the schools you selected. Collecting personal items. Before leaving the test center, collect all your personal items from the locker. And that wraps up the procedures you can expect at the GMAT test center. Remember, preparation is key. The more familiar you are with these procedures, the more focused and relaxed you'll be on test day. We hope this video has shed light on what to expect and wish you all the best in your GMAT journey. See you in the next video.